All right, and we are back for the last hour of Requiem, Empire of the Lost. No. <laughs> As the scene opens up, it moves over following the perspective of Genghis and Arsis, who are basically like setting up something to eat for um, Fea, Feana at this point, as it's mostly Genghis doing it and Arsis just looking over to Feana, who seems to be back to her normal self and just looks to be having a, a subtle smile on her face. Also, you being able to see her face now as she has her iron mask like to the side and off. Yeah. Tell you don't know who that is, but I do know who that is, but I don't know who that is. If this would be your chance to say something or do something. Well, <laughs> well that's I'm, the I'm thing. Do the I know? Do I recognize the face? Because out of character, I totally do. But that's neither here nor there. How old are you? How old is Genghis? He's twelve. So, no, because the last time she would have been seen is ten years ago. You would have been two. Yeah, little little, little tiny babble double. <laughs> you seem happy your friend's back. I'm just happy that we were able to do something that didn't lead to anything more permanent. Oh. I'd rather not have to kill anyone while they're here. There's enough fighting with the monsters that reside here already. With here, her back to her regular self. It will make staying here a lot easier. <clears throat> how, how did you know them? I thought she said there was no one really that went here who wasn't involved in dark magic. And that was true. She came here when I initially came. that mean if they're better now you'll come back with us? No. I told you before that I don't I can't leave unless the queen is ready for me to come back. Until then I have to stay here. I don't believe that. I don't think the queen would ever leave someone here. It's out of character for her. I don't know what to say. I just know what I've been told. And I trust her. Been told by the Queen, or...? Yes. I don't think she would ever leave someone... here for so long. It's... Maybe she hasn't had the means to contact you anymore. No. She just... Now that she actually can see, she's like... You can see there's a lot of, um... Wavering emotions on her face. I... I know what I was told, and... I can put trust that if there were no means to get here, I'm sure that she would find a way anyway. Perhaps this is this way. I don't think anyone should have to be have to stay here for such a long period of time. It's frankly, it's unfair. She just kind of looks at you, not really at you, more in your direction, not um, 
meeting, meeting, making eye contact. Not saying anything. There's no reason to stay here. What if it all goes wrong? What if my intervening and our presence without her causes problems? I don't think it would cause problems. She's... The Queen is... She's a very nice person, but... Ultimately, she is there to... To, I guess, win back... The phone. She's not weak, she... She wouldn't allow anything to... To stop... To stop her from doing what needs to be done. Her face seems to be wavering a lot more as you speak. Go ahead and make a diplomacy. Oh yeah. Doggo diplomacy, <laughs> here we go. And I was gonna pop in and say something stupid. <laughs> Well, this I is this is this is essentially okay. This is essentially happening as you were having that conversation with her. I wanted Astral. to go over there and say ah. something, but I knew that I couldn't. Yeah. <coughs> oh, the six. Get me. Hey, you put more points in that. Did I? I must have. Yeah, because the last one was shat. Okay. <laughs> cool. Oh, shat. <laughs> Fucking shite, mate. So, as you say this, she has her like head tilt up, eyes finally meet you. Only to make sure things are fine. But if she says for me to return, I'll do so immediately. I can't just leave you here, that's... I wouldn't be right. She said yes, she would go, but if the Queen says go back, she'd go immediately. Oh, I saw I, I, I misinterpreted that as saying she would come back if the Queen said so. I don't want to feel like I... I don't want you to feel like I'm forcing you to or anything. To be honest... I wasn't honest. I've been wishing for a return for a long time now. I can't exactly blame you for such a thing. This isn't really a a nice place to be. Nor is it an easy circumstance to allow myself to be a part of. But if you believe it could be for a greater cause, It'll be around this time Raya would have been turned back and walking back to you. Then... I'll accompany you. Thank you. I'll do my best to make sure nothing... Nothing... The game just kind of pauses with it. Nothing bad... Happens. I'll resign myself to your to care. But wherever I go, Theana will come with. Is she your bodyguard? She's my best friend. That's certainly a type of bodyguard. <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right. I suppose, uh... Like, is, is Rhea over here now? Yeah, she made her walk over here. What are you doing, Rhea? <laughs> I... Um... I think I'm just gonna sit down... Uh... Near the... The campfire with a very... Very heavy sigh. <laughs> Kinda half look like I wanna strangle somebody. And I'm just very confused. 
What have you learned about that other person? He's the creepiest The one you've been fuck. talking to. Alright. And he's been here a while. How long is a while? Four cycles. Whatever that means. I think he's gonna help us get out of this shithole. We have to find him a ring first, though. A, a, a ring? That's what he said. A particular type of ring, or will, will any ring do? It's a specific one. Of course it is. Did you learn anything else? I can't stand him. <laughs> and why is that exactly? He doesn't give off a very pleasant feeling. Well, that sounds a bit... I don't want to be judgmental. That sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? To judge people simply based on a gut feeling. I don't say anything, but my gaze darkens considerably. As though that definitely triggered some things. Right. Um... I believe we can have this conversation later. I'll go see if I can inquire more about Faye and this other person. As she stands up, um, straighten out the wrinkles in her dress as she does a slight bow <laughs> and very elegantly walks off towards the rest of the group. Leaving you with broody McBrood pants. Yep. <laughs> Big upset. Yep. Broody McBrew pants. So, back to the group. Yes, of course I can limp. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you just pick up where we left off immediately. I love that that's where you pick up the conversation. Just, of course mm. I can limp. Well, that's where we were. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this will be a good way. You don't even wait for Ash. Is, uh... <laughs> is, uh, Fat Cat back? Fat Cat. No, no, because he has to dig it up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, dig right, it up. You buried it. You buried it. Yeah. Why did you bury oh, we it? we all did, didn't we? Yeah. I... Wait, why well, did you bury it? Mine are just... No, buried our weapon. Tree on there. How come? Well, we had to leave them, but we didn't want to leave them out in the open, so we just buried them a little bit. Oh, okay. Well, and, uh, this... it's it should be quite fine. Uh, perhaps, <laughs> maybe. Huh? Okay. Yeah, and this it... might work. Might. Might. I'm I mean, not everything sure. might work. Nothing is guaranteed. I mean, I don't know. You don't exactly... There's certain... Something about you that I... Think... Something from the dark might... <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. You're, we'll see how you're, start, you're starting a lot of sentences and not finishing any of them. <laughs> yes. You're like, I... Hmm. It... <sighs> My mind... It kind of goes. You have a mind? It just goes. A bit. We can... Yeah! Okay, yes! <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. You, Bates. That'll be nice. That'll be nice. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. If nice. not, we're using the cat. We're using the cat. And then you have two cats. Which cat? Three, technically. <laughs> the fatter one. Three. The fatter uh, one. Well... If we're gonna go with that, technically... Actually, him to saying call. cat's a very derogatory term for your species. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I just give him a dirty glare. 
Would I know that's a derogatory term after saying it? Roland, knowledge local. Knowledge. <clears throat> oh, is it? Oh, I'll say It'd be a local for the empire. Oh, okay. Uh, ba 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 knowledge local. So, knowledge local, knowledge local, knowledge local, knowledge local. Oop. No, you Maybe. never encountered them yet, so no. What, do I realize that she's giving me a weird look? Yes. I, I, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, uh... <laughs> Just brush it off. So, the, uh... So, yes, the fat cat, or you. We'll I not guess... put any persons in harm's way if they do not wish to be. And yes, but he obviously he... does not want to be. I, I will mean, the... be perfectly fine. I'm not mm. worried about it. Yes, that's Rancor, not what I'm do... concerned about, though. It's whether they'll take the bait is what I'm concerned about. <clears throat> but, hey, I guess I'm overruled on this. So, you're going. I guess I'll need to talk to you about a couple things beforehand. That's fine. I do believe we still have breakfast to finish. Ooh, you guys have breakfast! I knew I smelled something good! <sighs> I don't know if there's any left. Not gonna lie. Uh, must we share with him? <laughs> I mean, you just came here too. I don't know why you're getting all uppity. Well, because my best friend is here. Oh, is she? <laughs> yes, she is. Oh, yes, you guys were hugging. That was so sweet! Oh, God, you're such a creep. Aw, thank you. <laughs> I just back further away. I'm, I'm just snickering and start walking back to the, to the camp. <laughs> I, yeah, I turn around and I see, uh, I see her, uh, crap, what's her name? Ar Arsis, and I walk towards her. <laughs> <laughs> what's her name? My friend over there. Yeah. <laughs> Best friend my of a hundred years. My, my what's her friend. face? What, what's her name again? <laughs> I, I I look around. So is it is it just the bull with me now? <laughs> or has he already walked away? I haven't gone anywhere. So I gotta look up to you. So I mean, I assume that I can join the camp. Where are you from? Hmm. Where am I from? Oh, yes, there was. Oh, yeah. There was a village. Oh. A village. It got burned I don't know down. I think because he legitimately can't remember. He's just doing it to be mm. weird. Mm. Uh, yes. I came from a village. <clears throat> It got burned down, though. Everyone's dead. Mm. As you do, you know. As you, you have do. my deepest sympathies. Yes, it's it was really heartbreaking. I could really do for some breakfast, though. I'm going to roll a sense motive to see if he is heartbroken. <laughs> Only to see if he's heartbroken. Not to see if he's telling the truth, just roll bluff. Just about it. <laughs> uh bluff, 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 bluff. It's up here. Yeah. Oh really? He seems Dang. very, very choked up about it. <laughs> <laughs> my papa, my mama. All of my family. My get <laughs> Well. Wow. We need to get out. You yes. want to get out? Mm-hmm. You can hang around for now. Yes! Thank you! I kind of pat him on the, I guess the elbow, since I can't, I guess I can't reach up to the shoulder. Good on you! you you're a good person. I like you. And I walk off to the camp. Asteron, was it? Yes, yes it was. Asteron, for as long as you fight beside us, 
know that I'll do my best to keep you safe. If you make a move against us, know that I will personally end you where you stand. Ooh. Good to know. Good to know. As I back off <laughs> the camp. This is, this is being told to you by a creature like three Finger times guns. your size. Yes, like, I know. I in know. full armor. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I have a feeling that, like, Astron's really shady and that he is going to betray us later, so he's just like, crap. <laughs> Why would you think that? Whatever could give you that idea. <laughs> That's rude. Um, no, just, a, just a thing, just a hunch. So as you walk back, um, Feana, Arsis, as, she's go, as she goes by, kind of just moves up and takes your hand in hers as she just stands there for a moment just smiles looking at you. <clears throat> I take your hand as well and uh, uh, I apologize for the wounds in her rib. I'm sorry for that yesterday. Oh, it's fine. I barely felt it. It was just a scratch, <laughs> I swear. Lies. <laughs> Are you sure? Because I know that I'm that it, it seemed like it really hurt you. I'm fine now, she kinda says, like leaning in and hugging onto you. Well, it seems like they really helped you. I gesture to everyone else. Are they good people? To be honest, I don't know much about them. We encountered yesterday, and they seem to be on it. Well, didn't seem to be dishonest. So I just allowed them to camp. Alright, I'll agree with your judgment for now, I suppose. Faye. They want yes. me to... As she says this in a low tone, out of easy earshot of everyone. Mm -hmm. They want me to return back to... To Tilith. To our plane. But the Queen hasn't told you to yet. <clears throat> Apparently, the Inuyakin, he states that he works with the resistance that's being ran by my mother. Oh, I agree that this place is not safe. And if he works with the resistance, maybe he knows, um, he knows quite a lot. Maybe we could trust him. I really want to go I back. Want... I I hate the fact that I've kept you here these thousand years, keeping you away from your family, your brothers, your sisters, leaving on the apex of the war. I felt no. guilty every single day because of it, or every single cycle because of it. No, I I chose to come here with you. I I didn't have to, and. They are offering us to go with them. I think that we should. But if the Queen tells us to come back, I think that we should listen to her. But for now, I think that it's a good idea to go with them. She kind of gives you a... Um... A smile that she was... Um... She basically breaks away her reluctant frown and gives off a smile of you, like, in a grin. She's like, all right. Have you eaten? Please, I don't... It's been so long since we've actually had a time to talk. I've wanted to stay and try to help you as much as I could. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything better. I would love to have time to talk, and no. I haven't eaten. 
do they have food left over? <clears throat> I've made sure I always had food left over for these last a hundred years. Well, have you eaten? Yes, yes. I'm fine. Come. She takes your hand and follows, or makes you follow her into the camp. Okay. As she stops beforehand, but they do still know me just as Arsis. She kind of mouths to you. Then that's where I shall call you. Unless you want to tell them if you think we can trust them that much. No. Not yet. Alright. One thing living here has taught me, if anything, is to always proceed with caution. I agree. They seem nice enough, except for the, the new person. He seems a little shady. Shady as it may be, I still owe him a life debt for keeping you safe. It's not something that, in good conscience, with my lineage, I could ever ignore. Well, I'm sure everything will be all right now. I'll make sure of it. It's around this time you see Asteron kind of just with his back towards you guys, looking like he's just doing finger guns as he's walking backwards. <laughs> as Asteron, you hit a force that stops you from like moving backwards. <clears throat> as you turn um, around, you don't see anything. It's just the open air. Uh, uh, hey. Uh, can I... Yes, yes, of course. Thank and, you! Like, as soon as she, What's like, finishes that, she kind of just stumble through. Thank you! <laughs> oh. Nice! Food! And I run over. <laughs> Food! Ah, oh, so what's, what, what's on the menu? I kind of so... just watch him. <laughs> As Arsis kind of gives off a smile at this. So yeah, Genghis, he just like moves over here. He's like, food! <laughs> uh, I made stew. I'm sorry, there might not be enough. I made them for, well, less people than is currently here. But there's some still left, right? <laughs> yes, but there's also two of you. I don't think... What's there would be enough to feed, well, two fully grown people. I've already had some made for Faye. Never you mind. Whatever. Oh, whatever's left he can have. Then it should be fine. Thank you! Can I, can I? He has his hands out for you to give him a cup. <laughs> what, 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 yeah, what, I guess I would, uh... Thank you. Get him a bowl and give spoon? him a bowl. Do you have a spoon? Do you have a spoon? Yeah, there's no spoon. He's not that civilized. Oh, yeah. okay. What, what was the basis for the non-weapons agreement originally? As I wasn't... She didn't trust us. She didn't want us to okay. I don't suppose we could, at this point, bring our armament, armaments in. It's <clears> starting <throat> to become a little clumsy dealing with that. Yes, yes. Well, it's not going to matter much anyway, as around this time you just hear a resounding pop, as the trees that weren't here, the ground that's been really soft and comfortable to sit on, all of a sudden just seem to appear in place as it's just a campfire surrounded by the bone trees. 
the overall layout of the <clears throat> environment that was where the overall protection was seems to be gone as the rest of forest seems to be taken back to its original state. I'm making a uh, beeline for where I buried my axe. Of course. Huh. I can't just say. I, uh, stroll over and probably taking the, uh, sword from Smokey as he's probably on his way back at that point. Thank you, Smokey. And then go on to retrieve my axe as well. Gee, I guess I'll go get my bag and stuff back, because I want to see if anyone knows about this stuff I have. So as you're getting over to get your axe, you just get pushed over as Raya just shoves you to the ground <laughs> and grabs her axe. I don't even shove him, I just kind of like knock into him with my shoulder. I'm just like, so no. you just like, oh, okay. As I like stumble slightly to the side for like continuing shaking my head with a, with a smirk on my face. I need my baby. But yeah, I return a few minutes later to the camp with a, uh, a, essentially like a one-handed sword and a woodcutting axe on my belt. Hmm. So, those are your weapons. Do you have any weapons? Let me check. I uh, take out my pack, which I have a pack, by the way. Look in there. Uh, I hold up a dusty tome. <sighs> there it is. I put it back. Tome. I had a feeling. Well, can't say I'm surprised. What's the usefulness of that? You'll see. Okay, far. that's super creepy. It's actually far more useful than your blades, I'm going to be brutally honest. Hmm. I mean, it usually it kind of depends on who's using him. In all honesty. I haven't used these in a while, actually. Have I used them ever? <sighs> well, um... In any case, uh, I'm not sure if the if the uh, snatcher is going to go after someone with a woodcutter's actually maybe a woodcutter's axe, but your sword might be a little eh. Look, if you're having like second thoughts about uh, him, what about me? You? Huh? Maybe. It'll be fine. If it'll get us out of here faster and protect you and everyone else, I'll be okay with it. I mean, I can protect myself. Mm. If, even if I don't have my weapons. That's actually a big boon. No weapons. I'll probably get it there. And plus, it's not like wildlife is adverse to you. We did just get that fly, well not fly, leech, wasp type of thing off of your neck. So, yeah. You are definitely the victim type. So go ahead. Yeah. That sounds like a plan. You're ridiculous. You know this? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was well, hoping no. whoever was going as bait would have this blade on them, however. It will prove useful in case the plan goes awry in any case. Well, I don't think he wants you to use the blade. I think he's he's correct in assuming that they will only go for the weaker one, and that blade will make you seem strong. Yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, why you do we need blade? someone to be bait? Because oh, yeah, we're going hunting. We're going hunting, and it's not gonna go after a huge group. Oh. So we're gonna need someone to go out there. I'll be bait if you but need then, it, if you absolutely need it. Yes, but okay, so we're gonna need someone as bait, but then we're also need to we're also gonna need to get to them fast. So let's see here, will they be able to run back? Genghis is fast. Do I, can I know? Pretty quick. Yeah, but you're a big, huge wolf guy. I'm also quite injured at the moment. So. Oh, are you? 
Oh, then well, really sell it then. I. I haven't really had much time just to you want. look at injuries. <laughs> okay, then just really sell. You know, limp. Maybe cough up a little bit of blood. Maybe get a little. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe put some like blood going down there. Maybe there. To be clear, Genghis, we're on the hunt for a otherwise cowardly ambush predator that utilizes teleportation as its ex primary escape route. We yeah. need to. Kill slash capture one and take their tongue. Yes. And we probably need to do it fast. Because otherwise it's going to teleport. Unless one of us stops it. Which may well, if not we be need someone fast, then we, then we wouldn't want Genghis. We would want him to run in while they're distracted with the bait, wouldn't we? If he's the fastest. Perhaps. I don't, I don't know if I'm the fastest necessarily. I just said I was rather fast. Who, who would be the fastest then? Actually, be actually, I just realized I have high move as well. Not not super high, but up there. More than some other people, Raya. What? <laughs> you trying to say something? <laughs> so who's fastest? High. I'm not sure. I don't think we've ever really tested anything like that. How fast are you? Oh, me? I... <laughs> these, uh, rickety old... Uh, I've got arthritis. No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> there you have. But as you guys gauge it and just think it over and have a conversation, Bratsulian would be the fastest. Hmm. Really? Would I really? Interesting. Hmm. My thing is not that I'm actually very fast at running, it's just the fact that I can attack people at the end of a run action. Hmm. This is so... why I'd say, this is why I'm saying I feel I should be bait and mm -hmm. Genghis should be the spearhead of the of our ambush. Yes. Well, if you, no, if you're he the fastest, then you could just go up there and take care of it while the bait's distracted. Or, um, no, while the person's distracted with the bait. I suppose that works to seeing seeds. that I have the most effective weapon against them. I'm not exactly very good at hiding. Hmm, that is, that is a big thing. Who's good at hiding? Smokey. Oh. Smokey. Can you stop putting my, can you stop putting my name in your guys' words? But Smokey doesn't Smokey. want to do it. Can we just not? He really doesn't want to be a part of it. Aw, oh, but why not? Because I've almost died twice and have died once. He has died once. Well, well, then you've already popped your cherry. You should be fine the second time. <gasps> Can someone kill him? Please! <laughs> well, we're not killing anyone, but if a friend says they don't want to do something, then you can't make them do it. Both me and Genghis have uh, already volunteered. Would a move silently a uh, do instead of a hide? Move silently is to avoid listening, a hide is to avoid spot. And the thing's probably going to be going looking for both. So, should we set up a, for... like an ambush spot? An ambush spot and maybe the bait can can get there and run. Actually, would I know? So should I? I'm gonna roll a knowledge dark to see if I know exactly how a snatcher would hunt. Do they prefer to ambush their prey or do they like to run after them? All right, go ahead. You're just beasting these rolls. Yeah. So, you know that snatchers. Oh not only are able to teleport, they have a really good knack at disguising themselves as bone trees. Oh! I started looking around. Huh. Huh. Well, that's a thing. Uh, disguise as bone trees. Okay. Huh. Well, something I should probably make aware. Snatchers like to disguise themselves as trees. As in the trees around us right now. Oh. 
Um, Probably just let you guys know that. <laughs> is there any way we can differentiate between them and the actual trees? If I look around, do I see anything that pops out at me concerning my abilities? And anything at all? Do they have a particular scent? Do they look any different? Can I use that 32 to discern that, Knight? Not much that you know on what makes them discernible differently, other than just being able to tell the difference between them versus a regular tree. AKA, depends on how bad the, uh, the snatcher is at its disguise at that particular point in time. I relay that to the group. <sighs> so, yeah. That's... Uh, was I muted in my last comment, or... Well, am I it just... I answered it still with that. It's not a magical oh, okay. hide, it's just them disguising themselves. It's just literally just disguise. Okay. To dusk wouldn't help. Oh well. Mm. Well, so that's a thing. So I mean, unless our lumberjack friend here wants to take his axe and start swinging down some trees until one hits flesh. Maybe. Imagine we'd incur all number of beasts if we did that. Yeah, I don't think that would be a very smart idea. Mm. Hopefully okay. it would give us unwanted attention. Perhaps. If we get one, I'm sure the others would come after us. Mm. Why, well, you're I... saying lumberjacking is loud? No way. <laughs> no, I um... mean, like, if you hit one, then others will come after the other. Oh, no, it's just that it would make a shit ton of noise. Mm. Oh. Making a lot of noise. Also, well, these are bones, so I'm pretty sure they'd actually crack louder than normal trees would. That's uh, true. Yeah. Then. Uh, Easier but... to cut through, though, I think. <laughs> Was that another. That's. Doesn't Shadow sound Drake. Good. As you look up and see the Shadow Drake with its, well, those that couldn't see it, which you did not get dusk yet, Philip? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. That would be my abilities, right? Yes. Yeah, let's see. My friends, my Nope. Nope, not there. Then what is your magic? My magic? Is I believe same as mine, sixteen, right? Uh let me see. Magic, magic, ma yeah. So yeah, actually you do see it. Oh. And you don't have enough magic. Arsis oh. looks to be looking up and her head is following something. And Raya, you can see it. As okay. you see the Quad winged, open carapace like stomach that has like a gaping hole showing off its inner organs. Oh. Its long, angular neck with something of a skull like topping for its head of the shadow drake and its claws, a large looking, wangling worm thing in comparison to the shadow drake it's small but to you guys it's large which the shadow yeah, drake is even it. more larger than that thing looks like someone's had a successful hunt yeah so to everybody else you just see this worm dangling in the air and nothing <laughs> just flying off in the distance yeah. This giant, uh, uh, giant, huge worm, essentially. There's another Shadow Drake. Or maybe the same as Shadow Drake. I'm not sorry. Huh. The Shadow Drake? Would I have seen that thing during my four cycles here? Uh, with where you're at, yes. You would have seen it a couple of times. Oh, and there he goes. <laughs> yep. Hi, Steve! He's kind of a regular. Yeah. It I'm almost surprised that I can't time. see it. <laughs> Say that again, Genghis. It almost ate us one time. It did almost eat us one oh, time. Wow. That was fun. That was fun. It wasn't fun at all. 
In fact, <laughs> so we should it knocked probably, you unconscious. So we should probably avoid him. Could we oh, try to kill it? No. No. Some of us can't even see it. No. I mean, I, I totally can't. <laughs> I can't see it normally, but the nightcat helps me see it. No, we cannot. I... Attacking that thing would be paramount to leaping off a cliff. Yeah, I'm there's, hoping a, there's a bridge. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like there's a, yeah, there's a small chance there might be a branch or a root dangling off that might be able to grab, but generally considered you're you're absolutely dead. Mm. Out of character, that just reminds me of Baki the Grappler. If any of you've seen it. There's no. a scene where he's trying to get into this how to use his adrenaline to fight. So, yeah, the way he figures out how to tap into his adrenaline is he jumps off a cliff and tries not to die. And that should open up his adrenaline gate. So, so he pulls a Bruce Banner, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he tries to shoot himself in the mouth. Yeah. Oh, well, okay, I guess that doesn't work. <laughs> Except this is an anime that it, it's not like super magic crazy stuff. It's like, no, it goes off of the realistic rules of how the human body works. <laughs> so yeah, he's just this regular human guy jumping off a cliff. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna be able to use my adrenaline. Yeah, boy. Oh, fine. <laughs> but um, moving back into the game. Yeah, that happens. As the forest, when it flies by, just goes into a state of general like unrest. You hear like Things moving in the distance. Some of the bone trees, like, rattling against each other as... Most of the forest seems to react to this thing whenever it passes by in a... State of either fear or concern. Whichever you guys choose to understand and take it as. I want to take this opportunity to make a spot around us to see if I notice any of the trees behaving more concerned than would be normal. I was gonna say that, but good on you. <laughs> Go ahead and roll it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Can I roll I'm sorry, scent? Kelsey, does your shirt say I am an emotional time bomb? Yes, it does. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you can try to roll scent, it hasn't helped you yet. It hasn't helped me yet, but, you know, I was thinking, like, trying to find a scent which isn't, like, a normal pe people scent, but isn't, like, a bone scent. Something else. Much to like you did before. You can smell. It stinks here. <laughs> yeah, it'll help one day. Oh. Just like, just like you said the cooking would help. It did help, oi. <laughs> Got experience bonus, oi, so you can shut your mouth. It was, just, it was great. So, Bratsulian's head goes on a swivel, but... Bratsulian don't seem to notice anything out of the ordinary. And I suppose I'll throw an actual looky look with my eyes. I would, but I'm shit at it. I would shit. I would back. Yeah. You don't notice anything in, out of the ordinary either. Nice. Coolio. No one else? Not I'm not good at spotting, so no. <laughs> um, I can give it a whirl. Didn't Smokey have spot? Smokey, sniff it out. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna give it a roll, even though I have a 7 plus 13 plus 3. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch. What? What? He's tall and has good eyes. Yeah, apparently. As you look around your surroundings and notice... An area that was a little off of the right to where the weapons were. Where there was a tree, where there isn't one now. Cool. That's... Mm. I do believe a mark is around us. Huh. Well then. Would someone what do you like think? to... What do you mean by that? 
better marks around this. Well, take a look. The landscape has changed. You said these things like two poses, these god awful trees. Very well. Um, let the let the hunt commence. I'll just begin strolling towards that area, just without even waiting for anyone. Oh well, there he goes. So, how are we doing this exactly? Are like are we just no, following I'm him? Just gonna wing it. If, uh, yeah. We're not doing I, your bait plan, I assume. I if guess if not. I if I start screaming, you start running and and swinging. Should we not at least pack up camp first? Oh yes, most definitely. We should probably it do that. It may be right here, and it may be not right here soon. I, so you're bringing it to us, good. but then it could just teleport. <sighs> I'm I'm already like starting to get out of normal conversation distance at this um, point. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm gone. I'm him at a distance. Yeah, I see someone should do that. Someone who can hide and sneak. I mean... She can't do either of those, but... <laughs> I can sneak! Can you? Shut can your mouth, you really yes! You know what? I have a ten and move silently now. <laughs> That's a damn mouth. Uh, what is mine? Let me see. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I have a four. <laughs> so, you're moving ahead, correct? Me? Yeah. Walk you keep striding your... conf confidently forward. I thought you were supposed to be limping. Hang there. Up to where the trees seem to be gone, looking around. I don't think we're doing the bait thing anymore. <clears throat> I don't know what the fuck is happening. I just, I'm, I as just feel like he gets knocked out by everything. As you look around, don't seem to see anything out of the ordinary, minus where you don't remember a tree being here, but there is not definitely no tree here. Can I make a survival for tracking? You can give it a shot. Probably teleport. They do teleport. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I mean, I'm just going to probably go help everyone clean up or pick up camp, if that's what we're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Packing up camp. So yeah, I mean... I'm kind of assuming that no one wants me to touch their stuff, so I'm just standing there looking at everyone do their thing. I'm sure our is going to do whatever I'm doing, so... He actually seems to be more concerned with the person that just went off by themselves and would actually come over there and make sure Oh, I thought Ryan would right. them. That's still... No, Two people. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm keeping there, but. But Rai is a beast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> an <laughs> animal. <laughs> Rai is an animal. <laughs> Go ahead and make spot checks. Raya and. Bretulian. Mine's gonna go great. I believe in you. Let's, let's do it. No, your belief it. isn't gonna help. <laughs> sure, it will. No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you didn't, didn't believe in her believing about you hard enough. Nope. Right. <laughs> Should have tried harder. So, as you're walking around, Raya. You turn and see Arsis making her way to 
towards you and shrug and move back to keep an eye on Bratsuli and while Bratsuli and you're moving off in this distance, keeping your head on a swivel, trying to make yourself as easily grabbable as possible. As nothing seems to happen, nothing seems to go in that favor as you kind of give off a sigh. And she turned around to eventually, like, let them know. It's like, well, yeah, if it was here, it teleported. As you're caught in horror at the sign of... One second. Am I horrified, though? Am I really? Ow. Yeah, of the circumstance. As you get caught in horrified, as one of the trees bends with an open mouth around oh, Arsus's oh, shoulder. <gasps> ah, Arsus behind you. I'm, I'm actually going to um, do a. Oh Jesus! One of my my geological tricks, and I want to just like make the ground swell to like just throw Arsus to the side, essentially. As it's like thrusting down onto her. Roll initiative. <laughs> Roll initiative. Nice. Not yet, though. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, for everybody else that's new to this, under your character sheet, there is a button called Turn Order. Or if you go on your token, there is a button called Turn Order. What okay. you do is you press the button while you make sure you are targeting your token. Oh. Yeah, you selected it. <laughs> okay, well, it was a three, so yeah. I'll just do it again and... Oh, you oh, know geez. my pain. Low attack speed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, boy. Good, good one, Raya. I like it. <laughs> It's, it's never it's never disappointing. Nope. Ever. I, I've never <laughs> I get got 20? So, it was 3. Yes, yep, you got 20. Holy so the first shit! One was a three. No. So you're, you're a higher texting character. Oh, that's how it is. <laughs> Jesus. Raya, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, either that's Arsus being A-OK, -okay, or that's the... Actually, that's the other thing that's gonna eat someone. Smoky, oh, wait. holy shit! Oh, oh no, wait. that's Smoky. That's gotta be Smoky. Oh yeah, well, I forgot about Smoky. Yeah, oh, Smoky's we're super we're fucking fast. About so wait, I get negative five because I have zero attack speed, right? No, 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 no. no. Oh no? That's for so his skills. Oh, so it's just for so so it's just a straight three then. Yep. If I, if I rolled a three, okay. Yes. Well, then how the hell did Rai get negative? Why did she get negative? She has negative speed. She has negative speed. What? I'm, I'm really yeah, that's low. a thing. <laughs> also, if you carry uh, if you carry too much, it can also oh. give you negative attack speed. Right. Okay. And theoretically, you can make characters that, because of racials, m may end up with negative attributes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you just never add at points to them, so they just always stay negative. Such mm -hmm. as negative luck. Never do it. <laughs> ne never do negative luck. Guys, guys. Why? I did have a negative six attack speed, but now it's only a negative three, so Very I mean only. I'm doing I mean, pretty good compared to like what I was doing. Okay. One second. How how fast is the grabber person? Environment's got a initiative of 99. <laughs> Trees are fast, people. Trees are really fast. <laughs> I think she's fucking high as balls. Well, yeah, you're, you're, a, you're a quickie person. You're quick me quick. I'm a quickie person. I mean, from what I can tell, you're the type of character that if you aren't quick, you're dead, so... Yeah. But that's pretty much it. I mean... Pretty much. <laughs> 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 I right. can't even deny it. 
So you guys are going first. Yay! Thank you, Smokey and Faye. Yeah. <laughs> Smokey sits on his ass. <laughs> so, as it starts with Smokey. As things start to go down, he like starts screaming and pointing. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> I would and expect no left. Since he has no weapon, that's all he can do. So. Oh my god. Okay. Uh. What the hell do I do? <laughs> I don't think these are accurate distance measures. Uh, no, they're not. Hold on. I can make it more accurate. Do I have to wait for you, or can I just go and do it whatever I want to do? Just do what you want to do. Alright. I want to attack it with my bow. Do I just hit bow attack? So as you draw your bow... That would be a move action, which means you would have your action left to do. Which, yes, you would just press bow attack. And since you have an attack... Are you in range, however? Am I within range? What is your bow's range? Uh, how do I tell that? <laughs> there was a table for bows. Uh, what bow do you have? What type of bow is it? I have... Right now I'm equipped with the iron bow. Just a generic iron bow, right? Yes. It's a range of 2 to 10. So basically what that is, each square is 5 feet. Uh, diagonal squares are 10 feet. And yeah. <clears throat> that's, that's basically you essentially have a range of 10 to 50 feet. Yes. Uh, that is effectively what you have. And those are like hard limits, actually. So there are abilities out there that do increase uh, range. Of and certain how many feet is each square if you're going straight up? Just five. Five per square. Five. Ten, six, ten. Uh, so I am Ash is, adju Ash is yeah. adjusting it, so we don't know for certain yet. Actually, we can keep it like that. It's fine. Yep, yep. you're in range then. Okay. Did I just hit bow attack? Uh, I forget. You, yes. You don't get size modify on... You hit bow attack. attack, and where it says modifier, do zero... Plus okay. ten. Yeah. You have to do it that way because it's weird and buggy, and it. Uh, Wait. So like... for modifier zero plus what? Ten. <laughs> ten. Okay. Basically, because it's a it's larger, you gain a like chance to hit it. All right, and However, hit location multiplier. What's that? Or what? if you were doing a called shot, that's how you would change it, but. Since uh, it's just just doing your first shot, just do that normally. Yeah. Right. And yeah, no culture. Okay. So. so hit. I like. You. Eighty-four yeah. would be a hit. It has an evasion of twenty. That sweet. That damage is a. Uh... Hmm. Okay. As you shoot at it, the arrow seems to hit it, but it doesn't seem like it dealt any damage as it just like breaks against its hide. You're gonna want to use your swords. Or aim shot. You are fast enough to I know, make that's two what attacks. I did on you, remember? Hmm? And oh, you're I can do fast two attacks? Yeah, you're fast enough against him oh. to do two attacks. All right, then I'll do it again. Uh, oh, wait, no. Okay, here's the thing. If you do the exact same attack again, uh, as you now know, that will do no, no damage. I, I know, I was going to call a shot this time. All right. Okay. Ah, she figured it out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I did it on I did it on Genghis, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, we meant like I nearly the, the strategy him. of realizing that basic is enough, you just go off to then make call shots for the extra damage. Quicker than what, quicker than uh, how some old people call, call like, <laughs> figured that out. So, which area do you want to call shot? Um, if you open up the 
Journal tab and head to EXP and Notes. Then head to Combat Help. There you will find Hit Location. And that will tell you the modifiers of what each area will be. Uh, I guess I'll just aim for his head. Alright, that'd be a times three. Hit location three? Yep. Okay, and then head. That, unfortunately, is a miss. Because he has an evasion of 20. Yeah. Good rolls. I tried. Fire, and... It's not that he evades it. It just seems like he was just happened to be right in the right place at the right time as he moves its really awkward head. Almost as if he's just really lucky. Alright, that's me. Alright, Bratsulia. I would like to use my move action to draw my sword. And then my action to do the uh, thing to throw Arsis to the side and out of the uh, creature's strike zone. Alright, roll a magic check. As you try to use your tentative nature of the dark plane to wield the environment around you to try to save Arsis. No! Nice knowing you, Arsis. As you try to do like a wave to knock Arsis to the side, but all it really does is just knock her to the ground. God damn it. Damn it. It's not what I was going for. God damn it. I, I, like, comment that, like, on, like, in a almost conversational tone. As Arsis stands up, seeing the threat that's now behind her, and quickly moves back and behind Raya. Rekor. Um... I love that initiative count right now, by the way. Four, three, three, negative three. (laughs) I'm going to move here and uh, draw sword and shield. Can you draw both? I can wield both. You can draw both. Okay, Uh, I'll draw a shield. All right. Genghis? Right. I'm going to move two, four, six here. I'm going to draw my bronze demi lance. And that is my turn. Asteron. I'm going to. We have a movement of 20 feet, right? Uh, what's your move? Oh, right. Let me check. It's uh, your move times five, essentially, is how many feet you can move. Oh, okay. move is four, so yes, it's 20 feet. Oh, okay. So, 20 feet. I move over to... There. Yeah, I'll just be right next to... <laughs> hey. You're on top Hi, of Smokey. Smokey. And we, and, and, <laughs> yeah, and we can see it, you right? can't. You can't end in the same square as an ally. Oh, okay. That you can only move for... All right, I'm just there. And I think the um, exception if that's pro. And, uh... Okay, so I move there. I still have the active or action I can do, right? Yep. Right. But I don't have the equivalent range for that. So, in any case, I'll just pull out my tome and get ready for anything. Well, um, the draw uh, would be your action, so yeah. you all set? Yeah. Yeah, the draw will be my action. I think the other exception to ending in friendly squares when you're doing some combined movement that requires that. Yeah. Essentially. And last but not least, Raya. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Just always. Yeah. (laughs) Always. Don't forget, you're bloodied. Gain five rage. 
Yeah. And if you Am have. Am I the... bloody? Yes, yeah. um, I can see you're bloody. You're clearly yeah. blow half. Oh, okay. Also, do you oh, have right, it's below half. You... Yeah. Yes. You also have the thing that gives you rage from other people nearby you being bloodied? Oh, that was oh. us. Oh, shit. I can't Guess... click on my token. Because then Why you not? have two more ticks. Oh, wait. Because you have no, the ruler on. No, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Three more. Classic. You get six yep. more age if you have levels first. So what will you do, Raya? You watched as this creature tried to basically snap up Arsis, but luckily... You guys were able to react before it had a chance to. Uh... What? What? Where do I have to be in to be able to attack it? You would have to be directly below it or next to it. So you have to be either in this... Or that. I love how he's like drawing multiple arrows from different locations. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Someone else switched their thing to red. Oh, I, I was doing that as well. Oh. No, it's because if you uh, do a arrow <laughs> when someone else is doing it at the same time, you basically steal their color. Oh, that's it's hilarious. It's a on roll 20. Ah. I was doing it too. I, I, thought, uh, I thought Ashes had gone god powers and had like multiple mouses going or something. <laughs> See, I, I've stolen this color now. But it's ah. like that, it's like that, like that. I'm still pink. Yeah, but now see, notice now I've stolen your pink. Oh. See? Blue, no, you're, stolen your pink. I only stolen see pink. red and blue. I don't see pink. Stolen the blue now? Yeah. I, I think it's just a glitch you have. No one else. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway. But, anyway. <laughs> Stop point. playing with the board. <laughs> okay, well, uh... Stop playing the game. <laughs> Stop playing the game, guys. I guess I'm gonna get right up in its grill and take a big old swing. Wait, do you have your weapon drawn? Yeah. Cool. Just gotta be within you? 20 feet. There would be a move yep. of 20 feet, which I think you have enough movement for. You need a move yeah. of four, so yeah. I have a move of five now. Well, there you right. go. Oh, uh. So as you move up to it, it looks just down at you, just like... That whack it. It sounds yeah, like a cat does. purring. I was going to say, why is there a wookie? Kill it! <laughs> <laughs> it's a tree wookie! Growing. <laughs> Miss. Oh. You got two cat people. As you take your swing and it's like a debris hits you in the eye that just happens to be enough to throw off your aim as you miss. Oh. Nice. It just seems like this thing's getting really lucky when you guys are trying to hit it. I do oh, gain realized. 15 rage now though. <laughs> Shit, why did I draw my lance? I could have oh. ran in there with his natural weapon. Fuck. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot. But... As it's now, it's turn as... It goes. Poop. Swallows Raya. Oh, oh it's gone. But they... There you go. It disappeared. What? Mm, we won! Dog. Yay! No, we didn't. I doubt that's the case. I'm kidding. <laughs> Round two. Where the fuck did you go? <laughs> We're okay, playing hide and it. seek now. Okay. <clears throat> As Smokey goes ahead and gives a search to see, or not search a spot, see if he can figure out heck. where the heck it went. I wish it was a search. We'd be fine. See, and it's disguise. <laughs> oh wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's right. I almost cheated, you guys. Good, or, good cheat or bad cheat? I didn't change this to D10 on my private macro. Oh. Because he got a 32. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. He seems to be looking around, but can't find him. God damn it. Oh, fuck. 
grab Smokey. As yeah, he doesn't have a weapon or anything, so he just stands here. Why didn't you guys give him a weapon? He doesn't own one. Well, you could have given him one. No Does he one, not want one? No one has a weapon that, uh, no that we can weapons. give him that he can use. Uh, that isn't we... already being used as someone else's their weapon. Like, I've got like, two lances, so I would give you... him one, but he can't use lances. And he can use a sword, but my sword is better than my axe, and he can't use my axe. Uh, Stuff like that. Sophia. Uh, yes. Yeah. It is your right, turn. First, first of all, I want to move up next to Arthas. Uh, 25 feet. Yeah. Uh, you can do that. Huh? You can do that in one twenty-five feet. Yeah. Want to move up next to her? All right. So Second. before you get over there, when you get to her right here, you watch as one of the tree branches lashes Aww. out at you. Oh, okay. Ah! <laughs> I found it. Perfect. Just in time. It's all we needed. You can go home now. <laughs> found it, guys. Oh shit. What's your evade? Press evade. Uh. Shit, <laughs> no. no that's a As it <laughs> goes right oh. over your head. Huh? It off <laughs> what? Oh. As you see it here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. In really... case you're not already aware, your evade is a flat reduction of its hit chance. Okay. So, having a high evade is good. But yeah, it missed. Nice. And you're standing basically right in front of it. It, once again, being next to Arsis. God damn it. That's why I was going over to her. I wanted her to get away from it. Uh, let's see. But since you only use can your I move, you move? technically still have your action. God damn, I want or you can finish I want your movement move if you want. Because it can... It attacking you doesn't stop something. your movement. If uh, I may, step five yeah. feet back, then shoot. Otherwise, you can't. Unless you have a inability. Oh, right. Rush. I need to draw my swords. Yeah. Mm. Uh, no, what, what I mean is you step five feet back and then shoot him with your bow. Well, I, I do want to draw my sword, though. Yeah, you know, I'm going to move closer to her and draw my sword instead. Can I do that? Yep, that would be your turn, though. Yeah, that's my turn. Cool. Oh. Alright, brought Sulian. Running at it and hit it with my sword. You said I was zero plus twenty? Yes. The modifier. And one is just normal for that. Call check no. As you swing your sword at it and actually make a hit as it cries out in pain. Brought Sulian, Arsis, and Asteron, and Feana. You guys need to make resistance checks. Ooh, I'm glad I'm the oh, boy. So. Um. AKA willpower. Oh. Okay, thank you. Yeah. If you've got Four. willpower, use that. Otherwise, it's a d10 plus your existent resistance. One of a few mm. things on my to-do list, honestly. Let's get willpower. Uh, resistance check, hold on. There was no macro for it. You have to roll a d10 plus your resistance. Oh, a d10 plus resistance. Yeah, you've got a resistance of three, so you need to do a D ten plus three. Okay. Uh, oh. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> did, I, did I accidentally roll a D ten? I did. Didn't you rolled a D ten, but <laughs> your resistance is three. So that's a nine. To. It's a nine. All right. I I'm, didn't mean to. My bad. Yeah, that's. Oh, 
Okay. Magic damage? Yeah. Alright, so magic damage is also reduced by your resistance, so you'd be taking 20 minus, set, uh, minus 3, so you take 17 damage. Huh? Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, okay. All right. How do... Not to sound stupid, but how did I do that again? You showed me earlier how to... Uh... Oh, I, I remember. I remember. I remember. Like that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> hey, guys, that hurt. <laughs> also, uh, I'm not blind. Just a sting. Get that for you. One second. Five. Aha. It has an attack speed of negative three. You are fast enough. Holy shit. Question is can I take another reactionary hit? <laughs> Well, actually, technically, yes. I just feel like I need to double down on this, though. I'm going to... Also, when you hit it, I... it just very awkwardly just wobbled in place. Does it look like that really hurt for it? It's still standing. Still. All right, Wookiee. And does this thing have anything to target besides neck and head, essentially? Not really. Not really? That's what I thought. Okay. Well, I'll go for the head for the times three. Go right ahead. Ha ha ha. Hey. Uh, Watch as it triples the damage, it, it shoots out, and then I just die. <laughs> if it does normal, I'll just go unconscious. As you try to hit, but unfortunately miss. As it just is wobbling back and forth, makes it a hard target to hit. What Arsis would do is she would stand off to right there and hold her hands out as she would give off an aura. Bratsulian and Feyana, you being in her aura, begin to heal for 20 HP. Thanks, son. We got us a healer. Am I near enough? <laughs> and anyone within... Ten feet of her, yeah, essentially. Yeah. It's, it's a diamond shape. Uh, or... My Mac is so right, um, girls. That technically puts me beyond yeah. full health. <laughs> yeah, me so. too. It it doesn't work like that. <laughs> no, I know, but it's funny that for twenty, it's not a lot. I mean, I barely got hurt. <laughs> All right, Riker. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to make sure this fucker can't run. Ooh. So, I'm gonna put myself here, and I'm gonna spend 15 energy to use Challenging Shout. Yeah. Oh. oh. Look at this snazzy dude. Forgot those existed. So, describe what you do. Um, 
I'm essentially charging up to it and just yelling. By the grace of Titania. He's doing what most soldiers do. They run at things yelling and waving big sticks. Right. <laughs> right now it's just my shield. <laughs> Alright, Wrecker. No. You mean Genghis? Genghis, whatever. Fucking <laughs> Whatever. Oh, uh, Dreadmere, do it. He's <laughs> not even in this game. It's I this wish world. he was, he would make this fight easy as shit. Listen, he existed like a thousand years ago. She might exist now, who knows. Um, That's true, who knows? She might exist. <laughs> let's stop talking about that, it's not relevant. Uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna go for the, the good old classic little pokey pokey stabby stabby. <laughs> <laughs> poke poke stab stab. Kids, kids love it. <laughs> Bit bap. Family tested, mother approved. <laughs> and the stab is good. A one, I think. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, well, all this uh, thing's speed is in its teleportation. Let's just confirm it. Luckily, yep, it's, it's as slow as uh, Raya. Hey. <laughs> no, that's fair. I think that still hits actually, doesn't it? His evade was 20, wasn't it? It was. Did you put the plus in there already? No, there's no plus in there. So then, yeah, that would be a hit. Cool. As you stab it twice! Though, it seems very lackluster as you stab it. Can we even hurt this thing? Ten weapon experience, though. Yes, we can hurt this thing. Just a matter of hitting it right. Alright, Asteron. I'm gonna cast a roll for Knowledge Dark to see if I know exactly how to kill this thing. Go right ahead. Fucking nerd rolling knowledge. Crazy <laughs> you wanting to know <laughs> all you've done? Such a nerd. Crushing its head does it pretty good. That's it. <laughs> Just crushing the head. Actually, uh, crushing uh, the head is the only vital point it has on its entire body. Only vital point it hammer? has on its entire body. So I yell out to everyone. Destroy the head. Thanks! You're welcome! Uh, cool. that, that's pretty reasonable, actually. I'd say it's something we can work with. Everything else is everything else is insignificant. Only the head. That's the only place that's actually vital. We Called could shots that out on our own, but cool, so, thanks. Called shots all up in this bitch. <clears throat> and what will you like to do with your action? Oh, that was my. Oh, I can still act. You can uh, do your yes, skill as a movement. Wait. Okay. I'm sorry. So I can attack it. Is what I'm asking. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, you can. <laughs> I can still attack. Good. Um. The fuck away from me. <laughs> so, quick, so quick thing. So just so I understand. So dark tome has a range of one to five. Correct. Yes. All right. right. So. Twenty-five feet. Yeah. Sorry. Say that again. You can it's attack up to 25 feet, essentially. Yeah, it's a <clears throat> to 25 feet range. Yeah. Okay, 25 feet range. Okay, that because I was concerned about that because I was saying like I magic it, I still have to get within five feet of this thing. I was kind of. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no, no. those those right. are the one to five, essentially one to five boxes. Ah, okay. See. Yeah. That's yeah. the difference. Yeah. Um, in any case, I'm pretty sure this game still has an attack of opportunity anyway, so. No, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't? Well, maybe it might, but anyway, I'm just sitting, so I'm sitting like, oh, crap. Alright, so I'm gonna move. If you move, you wouldn't be able to do anything else. Doing a skill, oh. you can do as a movement. And that's basically what you just okay. did. Then I'm going to make a... Okay, well, I'm, what gonna, is... I'm gonna try my luck here, and I'm gonna make a cold attack on the head. head. 
and that's okay. I'm trying to remember. I have to go back. I'm pretty sure that's times. Oh, times three. Okay. Um. All right. So plus twenty in the modifier. Zero plus twenty. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the first thing that pops up is zero plus twenty. Second thing that pops up is three. Last thing that pops up is head. So modifier is zero plus twenty. Twenty. Hit location multiplier times is three. Yep, just put three. And call location head. You got it. Yep. Well then. That okay. looks like fucking damn, damn boy. <laughs> Good job. Describe hey. how you kill the leecher. Oh, or the snatcher. Oh, you killed it? So I yell out, go for the head. And then... The head explodes. And, and then kind of open up my book. <laughs> All right. So I say, kill the head. Open up my book. Right. Yeah. Boom! And it just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> it just... Boom! No, don't say it explodes. You need the tongue. Well, it explodes, but the tongue flies out and lands. <laughs> so you guys watch as a vibrating, like, arcane letter starts to move through the air, just really slowly. Almost like uh, the same movement speed as, like, blowing a bubble. As it just, like, hits it on the side of its head. And the top half of its face just disintegrates. As its tongue is just, like, flapping around loosely. And it just, like... Falls over limp. <laughs> uh, I take back everything that. I said. You can join our party. Yay! <laughs> well, I do in character. So, certainly a good hit. <laughs> yeah. Anyone want to grab that as it flops around on the ground? <laughs> I'll grab it. Cool. And as Raya just yeah. revels in the idea of just being in gore and muck, the scene zooms out from the forest as the bone trees are waving violently after the Shadow Drake passed and things are still moving to new hiding spots. As I just want to feel like I've done something. <laughs> you see a shadow just go over the entire plain with the Shadow Drahom Dragon. Basically, moving towards the castle to its nest, which that's where we're gonna take off for the night. <laughs> and you, you hear like right. off in the distance as it's zooming out, and that's why I said I should have gotten my tome. <laughs> mm. So, thank you guys for watching and enjoying Requiem Empire of the Lost. You can catch yeah, us next exactly. week at. 12:35 CST to listen on to the continuer continuation of this particular story with our humble group of violent, lovable, mixed raced people. <laughs> that was a hell of a description right there. <laughs> <laughs> violent, lovable, mixed race. You know, we got all of them in there. Yeah, we, have, you, we got diversity. You actually yeah. are a really diverse group. <laughs> we have equal, we're an equal opportunity murder yeah. hobo. Two cat people, uh, society. a wolf, a creep. <laughs> a bull. <laughs> yeah, we got a bull, we got a monster, which is like you, Thanks. Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> and then just the regular guy. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I do, Michael. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Also, I hope everyone Bye, enjoys the gift I left. Bye, everyone. See you next week. <laughs>